Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 12th through the 18th, ladies and gents. I'm coming to you from La Ciudad de Mexico. Mexico City, so it's loud as hell outside, right? <clears throat> Just a warning. Let's see what's going on with you. This is going to be a love reading, ladies and gents. So I'm going to tune into the overall energy <clears throat> that you're dealing with here in your love life. I'm also going to be looking at your specific energy and the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. So let's get two more shuffles and jump straight in. <clears throat> What's going on with the collective of Aquarians? All right, there you are at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. The Magician, you're trying to make something happen here. Four of Coins and the Moon. Okay, there's definitely a, an element of scarcity a sense of fear. Somebody here can be a bit repulsive or rather refraining from opening up entirely because of some sort of insecurity. All right. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting the sense of here. Yet, somebody's trying to make something happen. What's with this magician? This magician is all about taking action or using your tools to attain, to acquire a wish, a desire. <clears throat> Let's look into this. All right, somebody wants to come forward and have some sort of emotional message come, you know, come through. I feel that this regards walking away from something. This regards, is this going to focus or what? Ladies and gents, I'm on, I'm on uh, face, what do you call it? Not face ID, but my, my, <laughs> my, what am I saying? You guys are like, what the hell? The autofocus is on my face. So when I put this, it, it looks, it starts scanning for my face. Oh, there we go. So what I'm saying here, Aquarius, basically, is that somebody here wants to come forward, I feel, and is wanting to bring some sort of emotional communication that entails walking away from some sort of obstacles, bringing about some sort of balance within a situation, something toxic, something negative. There's something vexing or discombobulating the connection that you have with somebody. And one of these individuals wants to come forward and do something about that. All right. <clears throat> Let's look into this for of coins wow look at that all right look whomever it is that's going to be receiving this communication ladies and gents seems to be shut off okay they seem to be protective of their heart space they seem to be uh, you know really not giving of their love or putting themselves in a position to receive love yet what this individual is oblivious to is the potential that actually exists if they're only if they're to open up, if they're to take that risk, all right? Now, this could be you, Aquarius. This could be the person you're dealing with. Nevertheless, it's quite clear that somebody is not seen clearly, okay? The path ahead does not, is not shining bright, let's just say. And I feel that this is triggering somebody to be a bit protective of themselves, when in reality, they just may have nothing to fear, essentially. All right, let's see what's going on with this moon energy. Okay, so there's going to be communication uh, coming forward here in regards to the situation that entails balancing something out. All right, I feel that you're, you're in a connection with somebody. It could be a fire sign. It could be a water sign. Nevertheless, this connection that you're sharing is a bit... Um, what's a good word I'm looking for? It's a bit dis, disenchanting. Okay. It's most certainly projecting or at least eliciting the feeling of disillusion. So there's a lack of happiness here with the current circumstance. There's, there's a, a potent negativity that's existing in this relationship that seems to be drawing somebody's attention from the actual potential that exists in this relationship. Let's see. <clears throat> what, is, what is Aquarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? Let's look into your energy, shall we, Aquarius? What is Aquarius's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? The justice, cutting through the bullshit, using your sword of discernment to basically bring about balance, bring about, bring about balance and bring about destruction to whatever doesn't, doesn't belong. In other words, if you got to cut somebody out, as ruthless as that sounds, you are willing to do so. Or if there's truth that needs to be spoken, which is difficult to be spoken, or there's boundaries needing to be set, it doesn't matter the challenge, it doesn't matter the discomfort, you seem to be vibing at that energy of not giving a shit other than caring about what is right. <clears throat> Rightfully so. 
tell me more about Aquarius' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with. That devil energy. So there's most certainly negativity here that you are holding on to. This could be a perception. All right. This could be a perception. This could be your own skewed reality. But this could actually entail something negative that ensued, which is making you feel this way. All right. The devil energy is simply the awareness that something is not right. Something is not right. And you're wanting to do something about it. Tell me more about this devil energy. All right. I get the sense that you're connecting with somebody which you could see a future with. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. But there's a bit of toxicity here which is compelling you to stand up for yourself, to stand up for your heart, to stand up for your emotions with the Queen of Cups here. All right. So in other words, you definitely have a lot of love to give. In fact, with that Ten of Coins at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, I feel that you're in a position of being able to offer a long-term commitment here. Yet, this Devil Energy is holding you back. Tell me more about this devil energy. Tell me more about this devil energy. The ace of coins. Ooh. So I feel that you're wanting to initiate something. You're wanting to have a new beginning. You're wanting to bring about something new, something positive within the relationship, but you're being hindered for whatever reason here. Possibly because you feel as if you're dealing with some sort of deception. All right. Seven of swords. And you're not taking that. Now, <clears throat> yeah, you possibly feel as if you're dealing with uh, someone that's a bit slithering or someone that, that is not too reliable. Somebody that will most certainly jeopardize a wonderful relationship. All right. And I, again, I feel that this is compelling you to put your guard up, to be a bit hesitant in regards to bringing about a new beginning. This new beginning is simply commitment, possibly. All right. Or a higher level of commitment, moving the connection towards a higher level of commitment. We got two aces. All right culminated by the ten of coins so this is a new beginning that will lead to a long-term relationship that will lead to the whole shebang all right <clears throat> now let's look into whomever it is that you're dealing with shall we let's look into this individual's energy aquarius <clears throat> let's see what's going on here. what's going on with this individual that you are dealing with what is this individual's energy towards aquarius Whomever it is that Aquarius is dealing with, what is their energy toward Aquarius? This individual is at a crossroad here. They're in this energy of exploration. All right. And I don't mean exploring other options. It could very much be so. All right. It seems as if they may be a catch. They may be, they may receive attention from others. This individual may be at, at the limelight. They may be a Leo as a matter of fact, yet they're keen to having a new beginning with you. All right. The relationship that you share with them may be in an infant state. Another ace. I just keep getting a lot of aces. So this is indicative of the relationship being in a position where there's still a lot more development to take place between you and them. All right. This individual is at a crossroad here. Tell me more about this crossroad. All right. So they're at a crossroad here in regards to taking this relationship to a higher level of commitment. Knight of Wands and the Hierophant. All right. <clears throat> but they're stuck. They seem stuck in their head. Yet this relationship is not something that they contemplate doing away with. Because they are extraordinarily attracted to you, drawn to you, okay? The attraction here is just something that this individual wants to move towards and they want to manifest something even greater, even though they may be experiencing a bit of challenge at this time. Interesting. The high priestess flew out. Let's keep going with the flow. Let's see. <clears throat> Tell me more about this individual's energy toward... High Priestess, this takes me back to that Seven of Swords here that uh, is a card of deception here. Now, I hope that this is not the case, but let's, let's keep looking here. Tell me more about this individual's energy. Anything, any important information regarding this individual, their desires of you, okay? A lot of energy that entails coming together, mending, healing, unity, prosperity here in regards to this individual. Now, that sounds all great and all. However, the truth of the matter is that this, this is going to require work. It's going to require work, ladies and gents. And this work, it seems as if this individual is willing to do it. <laughs> They're willing to do it as soon as they break free from whatever the hell is limiting them. So I feel that both of you guys are in this devilish energy where you're basically hindered by some sort of uh, external circumstance. In other words... You could have a very strong pull towards one another. You could desire unity. You could desire love. You could desire to have a long-term commitment with this individual. 
and likewise this individual feels the same way however it is your own, out of your own volition, you're giving up your power to something else that is influencing your actions towards coming together. Therefore, the relationship seems to be at a disillusion, at a, at a point of disappointment, disenchantment. <sighs> All right, Aquarius, I'm going to get some advice for you, and then I'm going to be taking this to the extended where I'm going to be, where I'm going to be deconstructing whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to be looking into their feelings. I'm going to be looking into their actions towards you, their long-term intentions and the near future of this relationship but let's get any words of wisdom here for aquarius any words of wisdom any sense any message of guidance here aquarius take your time with this situation here all right i feel that you're quite wise when it comes to discerning what it is that you got to walk away from what doesn't serve you okay i feel that you your your wisdom your discernment can definitely you know cut through any bs that entails a relationship that is not going to work out. So be discernful in regards to this relationship. And I feel that through that discernment and that patience, if you take a, if you take a subtle approach to it, you'll come to realize that this relationship actually does have potential. All right. I get the sense that you may be inclined to put your guard up when in reality, you're putting up your guard towards something that can actually prosper towards something that can actually take off and be something really exciting for you. To be frank, could be dealing with a fire sign. Again, we got Sagittarius here, but <clears throat> Let's see. It doesn't have to be. Tell me more. So this is a, a positive situation. We got the King of Wands here. All right. Take your time with the situation. All right. Don't be so quick to cut something out or, you know, to give into a negative idea or negative perspective, such as visualizing, a, you know, a negative future with this individual, as, as if in giving to your fears or giving into your insecurities of this not working out. You're being told to be patient with the situation and give this time. All right. Give this time because... It seems as if time is required, and it seems that this has potential. All right? Ladies and gents, I'm going to take this to the extended. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Aquarius, I'll see you guys next time.